you for this again as well. That Jesus is alive and well. Don't you look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor he's not dead. He has risen indeed. Don't you touch yourself and tell yourself, I serve a risen Savior. Church must now tell that God is a 
Why was it folded neatly 
like the servant dear God into the feast hall until the master has been satisfied and how will the servant know when the master has been satisfied they tell me when the master has been satisfied he will take one of the cloth that's there and he will wrangle it up and he will throw it on the table and that's the sign for the slave it's okay to come into the banquet hall ah but sister Judy when the master plans to return he does not cover up his cloth but he neatly folds the cloth and he puts it in a strategic place and the very sight of the folded napkin tells the, the servant that the master is going to come back for this dinner. But I come by and tell you that that folded napkin tells us that Jesus is coming again. He didn't dash it on the ground. He folded up neatly. Morris said, what you telling me? You and I could rejoice today because Jesus is coming again. I don't care who don't believe it. The napkin tells me he's coming again. What there is he coming for? I want to tell you that he's coming to receive your soul. For I heard the Bible declares that when your day of time comes, he's not going to allow you to cross Jordan by himself. Because when you press your dying pillow, I hear the song right now. Savior comes and walks with me and sweet communion there have we each and leads me by the hand for this is heaven's border land oh beautiful land sweet beautiful land as on the highest mountain stand I look away across the sea where mansions are
time you fold up a towel or tie the spur in my then he will return. And then next time you fold up your man's prayer, tell them he will return. Then the next time you put a hanky in your pocket, or tell your spur in my
but simultaneously the thought that the king is coming sets my life in disarray because I know that there are still some spots and blemishes in my garment that need to be washed. While you and I still have another grace moment, have another opportunity to make our calling an election show. It's that there's still some stuff in you that would cause you not to be ready when the king bursts the eastern sky is sunny while the blood is still running warm in your veins. Before Parkinson or Alzheimer's, some will not your go mishap. Eclipse your intellectual savviness. To put it another way, why do you still got good sense? Why don't you say to God and need you to help me to be ready for your return? If you, like me, not embarrassed to walk to the altar, tell the person you're sitting next to, excuse me, I need to come. Because there is something I need to reason and wrestle with God about.
Lord, on this Resurrection Sunday. We thank you for the full denial. The symbol to true servants that you will come again. God, we thank you that you didn't come yesterday because there are some things that we still working on. We thank you that you have not come today but you have given us another grace moment to wash our robes, to lay aside every weight and the sin that so entangled us so that we may run our race with patience looking unto Jesus, the author, the perfecter of our faith and for the joy that was set before him despised the cross and his shame and has taken his seat at the right hand of the Father. Oh, we are called to consider him who endured some hostility in the hands of cruel men so that we may not lose our God, God, when you search us and try us, you will find things in us that do not bring you glory and we want to repent of them. We want to confess them to you. We want you to wash us and make us clean. All those bad habits and bad attitudes, those things that we do that we should not do, those things that we fail to do that we should have done. Father, we ask you to forgive us. We want to walk in the newness of life. We want to forget what is behind and to reach for what is ahead. We want to press towards the mark of the prize the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. God, we're not going to allow the negative words of people to paralyze us. We're not going to allow the sins of our youth to keep us encumbered and in straight jackets. We are not going to allow those things that have been spoken over us in anger to cause us to become impotent or barren. Father, we will produce fruit because we're going to be the plantings of the Lord. We thank you for grace. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your struggle that fix us of sin and of unrighteousness, of judgment that is to come. God, we thank you for this sacred hour that we can leave it all on the altar. What hands are still bowed and eyes? And those maybe just me who are under the sound of my voice and you are not a Christian or your backslide. Today is a good day to come into the ark of safety. Yeah, the day of grace comes to a close. You're not a Christian or you're a backslider. You sense the tugging, the cajoling, the wooing of the Holy Spirit. If today you hear my voice, hand on your hearts as that Nariba in that dead massa in the desert when the forefathers of the ancient Israelite community put our God to the test when they tried him though they had seen God's works. We thank you God for the hope that we have that if our earthly house of our tabernacle Shall we all that we have another good? It's really not made with hands. Eternal hands. So God has to send us from this altar renewed, reinvigorated, recommitted to serve this present age, our calling to fulfill that all our powers may be engaged to do our master's work. Thank you. 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 somebody and tell them the Lord is going to return. He will return. When they ask you, how do you know it? Tell them the fold in that tells me that my master
Sing something. Tell me, walk in 